The collapse of America's Silicon Valley Bank and the bailing out of the Credit Suisse has sent shockwaves in the global banking sector. Credit Suisse and the Union Bank of Switzerland entered into a merger agreement last Sunday with the Union Bank being the surviving entity. That is miles away, but the integration of Uganda's economy into the global financial system means we are somehow impacted. What does that mean for us uh, on, on the continent or in Uganda? During that period, uh, at the peak, early March, you saw a lot of turmoil. Uh, the dollar, being a safe haven currency, started strengthening against other currencies. And we've also seen that here. Uh, uh, over the last month, I think the shilling has lost close to about 40 shillings. We're now trading at about 3750 uh, having entered into the uh, just shy of 3710. So you notice that even us here, we do get impacted once you get such uh, global events happening. So the shilling has weakened. Uh, part of it is cyclic, but you also get these global events playing into it. Uh, what does that mean? That means that potentially also, because uh, a good chunk of what we consume is imported, mm -hmm. that means that the prices go up. Uh, so that poses a, an additional challenge for the central bank in terms of managing inflation. The banking crisis has forced global oil prices to drop. And interestingly, this is a good thing for Uganda as it lowers the cost of oil imports. Uh, as a result of that volatility, we saw actually oil come off. Uh, global oil prices, oil has dropped from around 80, $84 a barrel to about $74 uh, uh, a barrel. And that's good for us because remember, one of our largest components of the import bill is, is fuel. So if oil prices drop, then we could see that uh, uh, filter through uh, as a result of that risk of an anticipated uh, recession kicking in as well. Uh, and then finally, interest rates uh, that we also need to look at. As we said, if we're reaching the end of that hiking cycle, uh, then chances as well would expect the central bank, as inflation continues to ease, uh, and based on the data, that we could also probably be getting to the point or starting to see on the horizon uh, a drop in interest rates, uh, even in Uganda as well, which means that you can borrow cheaper and uh, then deploy that capital or credit extension would probably improve and we see growth again. Paul Murungi, NTV Business.